Hi, I'd like to show you another uh, mind mapping tool, another free option. I'd like to show you multiple options here because there are limitations, especially with the free version, in each of these tools. So you can make a, a choice as to what works best for you. Um, this is something called MindMap, and it allows you to create free map, mind maps. Okay, so you can sign up for gold, which is $3 a month, but if you want to use the free version, um, you're going to be limited to maps that are 100k each and they are going to be publicly available so if you were to use something like this you'd want students not to include their names etc or to include an alias etc um, because you don't want to make those make those public so to create a free map it'll bring you to the tool set it's very very simple you can click on here or double click on there rather and you can include uh, that's the main concept of your map itself. You can see this is another root node, so this would be a top level node similar to health. So that's not something I want. So if you make a mistake up here, simply click off and it will go away. If you don't add any text, it'll be gone. So under health, I'd like to um, insert a child node. The first child node will be, um, we'll follow the same pattern exercise, click back on health diet and we'll click another one and there's sleep now you don't have to stay with the arrangement that it gives you I can simply drag health up there and I can reorganize these down here okay so I have some latitude as as far as where I put things it's going to make some decisions you can see I'm not getting those directly in a row so this this might work well as a um, kind of like as a web type environment, but I'm not going to be able to do that outline quite as, um, get quite as much control over that as I might like. Also, um, you can insert siblings. So if, say, exercise, well, these are siblings now because they're all one level below health, but an alternate way to do that um, would simply be to use this button. See, now this is a sibling to health, or something at the same level of health, but if I was in exercise and I um, did siblings, you can see that it's the same as creating one when the top level is selected. So uh, let me just do that. Probably not the best selection. Okay, so as you can see, you can grab these things from the side to resize them. If I try to get it from the left, I can't, or the top, so it's going to have to be from the right side. But I can use that to change the size of the, the objects themselves. Um, I can, this can be used to insert a, an image as a node, which is very nice. But what you're going to find out is unless you get very, very, very small images from the internet, you're going to use up that 100K very quickly. Using these um, particular shapes and text is not going to take up a lot of size but as soon as you start inserting images um, you're going to run out of space extremely quickly okay if you click on a line you can add a label to it so and you can see that's associated now with this particular line so that's a nice feature um, You can change the line color, limited number of selections there. Let's just make it green. There you go. Um, you can make it into a dashed line. And the solid or dashed line can really be used to show relationships. So that's that's a very positive thing. Um, or you could remove the line altogether. Okay, if you click on the shape itself, you're going to get the tools for that up here. So you can see you can change the color of the node. Um, which is nice because you can distinguish between them or if there are several that are related you could color code those the same. Um, you can keep clicking this to, to increase or decrease the text size. Uh, you can adjust the node image so you can change this from being this rectangle into being a, an image but again you're going to be extremely limited in the free version so much so that it might not even pay to try doing that you can add notes so you can add additional information to this um, I'm sorry 
text notes over here. Okay, you can see that my Grammarly is working right in there. So it embeds itself into here, which is nice. And now if somebody's going to use this, they're going to see um, a note that's available that can open here. A little awkward if you want to hide this sidebar. Oh, yeah, I undid that, I guess. You're going to use this hide sidebar over here. Okay, other things you can do is you can add an attached file. Um, that's going to require gold, um, which we don't want to pay for at this point. You can search this for a particular note if this was an extensive mind map. Um, you can select, multiply select siblings, zoom in, zoom out. So an extremely um, simple tool in the free version. Okay, the same types of options are available through the uh, different menu options. But So, if you want to get kids up and, and doing something simple, again, I would recommend when you were done, uh, you can download it as a PDF or as an image file. Okay, so you can change the type here. So, the nice thing about this is if you're going to have students do it, they can... Uh, they can create it quickly and, and they can download either as an image or as a PDF their work. Um, you can actually download it as a PowerPoint, etc. So simple, simple tool, probably not my preferred tool in the free version at least, um, but an option that's available to you.